Tonight, officials with North Carolina-based Harris Heater are trying to figure out how a scorpion got into a Raleigh store and stung an employee. This happened Wednesday at the store in Cameron Village in Raleigh. CBS North Carolina's A.J. Janneville joins us with more on the store's response. A.J.? As Sean Sharon, officials with Harris Teeter say they're looking into seeing exactly how this happened. People who shop at the grocery store are asking the same thing. Who was stung? Working by Scorpion. <laughs> That's crazy. Thursday was Brooke Bingham's first time shopping at the Harris Teeter at Cameron Village. She says now she's going to double check her produce. Like, why was it doing in there? What was it? <laughs> That's wild. Officials with Harris Teeter say they are looking into the incident to try and prevent it from happening again. But experts say this sort of incident isn't a first. But it does happen, and it's been happening perhaps with uh, uh, some regularity for the last 20, 25 years. Our Dr. Clyde Sorensen is a professor of entomology Probably. or the study of insects Whoa. at NC State. He says one species of scorpion is actually native to the western part of North Carolina. But for the rest of the state, especially right here in Raleigh, they are not common. Uh, when a scorpion shows up in this part of the world, it's, it's kind of an accident. Sorensen had two examples of scorpions with him. The one on the right is native to North Carolina's western areas. But the one on the left, Sorensen says, is either from Texas or Florida. He says those are the only other two types of scorpions that have been found here in North Carolina. Sorensen says they are usually shipped into the state through produce. Luckily, neither are known to be too dangerous. Cool animals. And Harris Teeter officials say they regret the incident and are thankful store management acted quickly to get the employee medical attention. Again, they're looking into trying to prevent this from happening again. Sharon. All right, AJ, thank you. And the fifth suspect.